Hi guys, today I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial of how Android performs and works on the Tinkerboard. You can see here I just have it set up to the default home screen and we're just going to open up the apps. We're just going to try out a few little things to show how smooth it operates. We're going to do the Earth and Moon Pro screensaver here. This is just a live wallpaper, but simply take a finger, drag it around, you can see it everywhere. You can pinch and zoom, then rotate, and this is just a wallpaper, so however you want to set it, it then becomes your wallpaper. We'll back out of this and we're going to try a game here. So we're going to try, let's do Monument Valley. It's a popular game and you can see it just runs in portrait mode. So in portrait mode, obviously it only, it's pillar box doesn't take up the entire screen. But you can see here that not a lot moving on the screen, but it does move very smoothly. And as well in this game, you can pinch and zoom. Just very crisp, very clean, very pretty looking game. And now we're gonna break out of this and we're gonna do one more game here just to show you how they run. Um, close this and we will try Kingdom Rush Origins. It's a great little tower defense game, which of course those are even more ideal for a touch screen. It makes it very simple, very fun to play. So you can select your options here, select a level. And even within this game, you can just scroll around, pinch and zoom, select your units, move them around. It's very smooth, and the overall Android experience is just very nice. I would definitely recommend the Tinkerboard for Android gaming. It's very nice, but obviously better on a touchscreen monitor. Hopefully this will encourage you to want to try one yourself. Thanks guys.